factors. This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 2 p.m. Eastern time on Wednesday, two hours left to go in the trading day. And we have a relatively calm market, especially compared with Monday and Tuesday, how we started off the week. Right now, we got S&Ps positive by one point, trading at 2892. We get the Dow currently positive by 96, trading at 26,061. And the NASDAQ positive by 16, trading at 7980. Gold, negative $4 at 1281.70. Been a kind of a slow, steady decline for most of the day for gold. Notes and bonds, lower price, higher yield, 10 year note, negative 9 ticks, 123.23. 30 year bond, negative 16 ticks, 148.08. Dollar index, basically flat at 97.390. We'll start things off. Let's jump over to the futures markets. We'll start it off with the SP. And right now, and as we said, so even um, looking at the chart, Early this morning, 7 a.m., we trade at 26.68. We spike up to a high of just after 11 a.m. of 28.98 and kind of just been hanging out between about 28.98, 28.80 in the S&P is right in the middle of that range at 28.90 right now. NASDAQ 100, much the same. We make a low early this morning. We spike to an intraday high just after 11 a.m. of 76.89, currently trading 76.62. Dow 30, trading at 26,008, just back over that level. And as you can see, we made that high again just after 11 a.m. in the Dow of 26,050. Crude oil, above $62. We got the EIA number at a 1030 this morning. This morning saw a surprise draw. And where is 1030 on the chart? There's your 1030 volatility. We trade from about 61.55 up to a high of 62.35, currently trading 61.99. And gold, there's your slow, steady decline. So we trade higher from yesterday's low. There's Tuesday morning, trading at 1279. We trade all the way up this morning to 1292. And from there, the market falls out 1281.57, the price of gold. In terms of what else you have happening, Uber. So you have Uber drivers striking across the country ahead of their IPO. Their IPO news, now it was reported earlier they were going to come in the high end of their range between 44 to 50. Now the reports are coming out midpoint um, of the target range or below. Pretty remarkable. We'll see where they come out. They're going to price it tomorrow and then they're going to start trading on Friday. There's your listing. They're going to have 1.6 billion shares outstanding. We'll see where that comes in. Stay tuned, folks. Dave White with the Power Trading Hour coming up right now.